So one of the questions that students ask, uh, I got this question again in a recent webinar, but back in the day when I used to counsel a lot of students, this question used to come a lot. Does ACCA have math? And uh, I think it used to come along with the another question that does ACCA have negative marking? And I think the negative marking and math both question come because CA Foundation in India has both these concepts. It has an entire subject on math and it has negative marking. So in this video, I'm going to clarify the ACCA stand on mathematics. If this is the first time you're visiting the channel, then please click subscribe. And if you find value, give us a thumbs up. So simple answer is no. ACCA does not really have the maths that you are thinking. Now, because it's a finance and accounting course, of course you require, it's great if you're decent with math when it comes to the basics of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, but it doesn't have the elaborate algebra or trigonometry, those kind of mathematics where you have to mug up formulas. In fact, ACCA uh, in the exam gives you all the formulas that you need because the core aspect of ACCA is that it wants you to not really depend on memory because we all know, right, we have everything available uh, outside the exam on the internet. So any formula, any rule, it's a okay to find it. What's important is how do you use it to add value to your clients? And that's what ACCA teaches you. So another way to look at it is that it doesn't really have the maths that you've thought of in school and college. It has a very logical approach. So let's say you've never done math, right? We've had a couple of these arts students who really had dropped, like despised math and had dropped it off a long time back in school. Even they, as long as they stuck to logic, accounting can be solved by logic, finance can be solved by logic. Majority of the formula that are even there in the exam that you have to use are derived out of some logic. So I personally used to use discounting rate, which comes in financial management. The concept I would never learned. I actually just really imbibed the logic and then instantly more or less I can figure it out in the exam and so can many of our students. That being said, guys, uh, don't be worried. Even if you're not good at math and accounting and finance qualification requires much more of a logical conclusion, way of concluding answers rather than any rote learning or any formula-based mathematics.